Hello, HBX is very excited to introduce the latest in geothermal innovation, the ECO 550. The ECO 550 covers a multitude of geothermal applications, reducing the variety of controls needed for varying applications. In this video, you will see how easy it is to set up the ECO 550 as a geothermal control. You will notice our very descriptive multicolor backlit display. On here, you can see if the heat pump, system pump, backup boiler, and reversing valve are on or off, what the current temperatures and targets of the system are. The screen will change color to let you know what the control is doing. White or light blue means there is no demand. Dark blue means there is a cooling demand present and the tank is above its target. Red indicates that there is a heating demand present and the tank is below its target. And green means there is either a heating or cooling demand, but the tank is satisfied. To program the control, hold down the Enter button. This will bring you into the Setup menu. Press Enter again to select heat pumps. Here you can select the number of heat pumps in your system. Press Enter, then use the up or down arrow buttons to increase or decrease the number of stages to a maximum of three. Using the same method, you can also adjust the lag time in minutes between multiple stages coming on. If you'd like the stages to rotate first to fire, based off of time or cycles, and whether you want stages to stage off or turn all off together when the demand is satisfied. Hold the Enter button to return to the Setup menu. Select Tanks. Here we can adjust the settings for the hot tank, cold tank, and lag time for warm weather shutdown and cold weather shutdown. Select Hot Tank. The warm weather shutdown is the outdoor air temperature above which the control will shut off heating. If you desire to have outdoor reset on your tank, set outdoor to your design heating temperature, when the tank will be at its maximum target. The control will fluctuate the tank target from minimum tank temp to the maximum tank temp as the outside temperature rises and lowers. If you do not wish to have outdoor reset, set outdoor to off. The control will maintain the tank target at the tank temp set by the user. Hot diff is a differential on the hot tank and is half above and half below the target temperature. Hold the enter button to return to the tank's menu. Select cold tank. The cold weather shutdown is the outside air temperature below which the control will shut off cooling. If you desire to have outdoor reset on your tank, Set outdoor to your design cooling temperature, when the tank will be at its minimum target. The control will fluctuate the tank target from the maximum tank temp to the minimum tank temp as the outside temperature rises and lowers. If you do not wish to have outdoor reset, set outdoor to off. The control will maintain the tank target at the tank temp sent by the user. Cold diff is a differential on the cold tank and is half above and half below the target temperature. For a single tank system, it is important to remember that the cold weather shutdown should be greater than the warm weather shutdown. Cold weather shutdown, warm weather shutdown time is a lag time that will prevent the control from entering warm weather shutdown or cold weather shutdown until this time has expired. Hold the enter button to return to the setup menu. Select backup. Here we can adjust the settings for a backup boiler. The backup boiler can be configured with several settings that can be used independently or in conjunction with each other. Backup time is the minimum lag time in minutes between the last stage firing and the backup boiler being enabled. Backup temperature is the desired outdoor air temperature required before the backup is allowed to come on. Back diff is a differential set on the tank at which you want the backup to be enabled. Hold the enter button to return to the setup menu. Priority allows the user to determine whether heating or cooling has a priority if both demands are given at the same time. Degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit allows you to determine what units of temperature the control will display. If you are more comfortable using Celsius or Fahrenheit, you can program the control and then change the setting. The control will automatically convert the units for you. That's how easy and intuitive the Eco 550 is to program. Thank you for watching.